Hello friends! Today we are traveling together to Japan! Well, Japan is an isolated country in East Asia. It's bordered on the west by the Sea of Japan and extends from the Sea of Okhotsk in the north toward the East China Sea and Taiwan in the south. You might be wondering, what's the most important city in the country? The answer is Tokyo. This is Japan's capital and the largest city. An interesting thing about Tokyo is that it's the political and economic center of the country and is the place where the Emperor of Japan and the national government are located. Other major cities include Yokohama, Osaka, Nagoya, Sapporo, Fukuoka, Kobe, and Kyoto. But what about Japan's empire and how does it work? Japan has what is known as a unitary parliamentary constitutional monarchy. This means that the emperor of Japan is the monarch and the head of the imperial family of Japan. Under the constitution, he is defined as the symbol of the state and the unity of the people. His title is derived from the will of the people who are the sovereign. Imperial household law governs the line of imperial succession. He is also the head of the Shinto religion. The Japanese Shinto religion holds him to be the direct descendant of the solar goddess Amaterasu. The emperor is also the head of all national Japanese orders, decorations, medals, and awards. Speaking of this Shinto religion, here's an interesting thing about it. If you travel to Japan, you will see the Shinto shrines houses. These are places of worship and the dwellings of the kami, the Shinto gods. It is a house that protects Japanese religious objects. But we will tell you all about these places in the next chapter. Let's talk about the flag for a moment. The national flag of Japan is a rectangular white banner bearing a crimson red circle at its center. This flag is officially called the Nishoki. The sun plays an important role in Japanese mythology and religion and symbolism. Also, this is one of the reasons why this country is known as the land of the rising sun. That takes us to the language and the writing. The national language is Japanese, but the alphabet consists of three writing systems that work together. These three systems are called the Hiragana, Katakana, and Kanji. They sound difficult to learn, but don't worry. Hiragana and Katakana are easy and will be a big help if you're thinking about traveling to Japan. An important fact about Japan is that it's the 11th most populous country in the world. Its population is about 125 million people and it consists of almost 7,000 islands extended around the country in 20 different cities. This makes that the culture of Japan is well known around the world, including its art, cuisine, music, and some very fun things like comic, animation, and video game industries like Pokemon. Maybe you've heard of it before. Pokemon is an electronic game series from Nintendo that debuted in Japan in February 1996 six as Pokemon Green and Pokemon Red. But let's talk about their traditions for a moment. In Japan, there's an event called Yamayaki. This is a festival that involves burning the vegetation of mountain before the spring. The event usually comes with a fireworks show. It's ancient tradition that actually happens when people were in a dispute over the land. A beautiful thing that people love to see is the floating lanterns. This is a tradition that takes place on a river. You can see hundreds and hundreds of them floating at the same time. It is known as Toro Nagashi. It represents the journey of the souls to the afterlife. Let's talk about origami. Japanese origami began sometime after Buddhist monks brought it from China. Its meaning comes from ori meaning folded and kami meaning paper. Have you ever heard of chopsticks? Well, they use chopsticks and sometimes a big spoon to eat their noodles. Also, another fun fact, slurping soups is considered polite in Japan. Can you imagine? But if you get hungry, the traditional cuisine of Japan is based on rice with miso soup and other dishes. There's an emphasis on seasonal ingredients. Side dishes often consist of fish, pickled vegetables, and vegetables cooked in broth. Seafood is common, often grilled, but also served raw as sashimi or in sushi. Seafood and vegetables are also deep fried in a light batter known as tempura. If you like to dress up, you have to know all about their clothing traditions. The kimono is labeled the national clothing of Japan, the most well-known form of traditional Japanese clothing. The kimono is worn wrapped around the body, left side over right, and is sometimes worn layered. It is also worn with an obi, and may be worn with a number of traditional accessories and types of footwear. There are different types of women's kimono. The furisode is a type of formal kimono usually worn by young women. The uchikaki is worn as bridal wear, as an unbelted outer layer. There's there's also the Kuro Tomesod and Iro Tomesod. The Hoi Mongi and the Tsukesagi are semi-formal women's kimono featuring a design on the sleeves and hem. The Iro Muji is a low formality solid color kimono worn for tea ceremony and other mildly formal events. And the Komon and Ode Komon are informal kimono with a repeating pattern all over the kimono. But what about traditional Japanese clothing for men? The name is Happy. Happy is the Japanese traditional dress that is worn by male performers, particularly in dances, which is actually a straight sleeve jacket. Hapi normally has an open front and is fastened with ties. In modern patterns, Hapi is worn over clothes and tied at the waist with a belt. The wildlife in Japan is very special and this is because the Japanese archipelago straddles a wide range of 
arid climates, from the subarctic snowscapes of northern Hokkaido to the subtropical jungles of Okinawa in the south, and over 70% of its landmass is mountainous and undeveloped. Thanks to these conditions, Japan is home to a bunch of plants and animals you might not even think about. The animals you can find are Japanese macaques, deer, sea turtles, giant salamanders, and leopard cats. But a special one is the raccoon dog called tanuki. You've probably never heard of a tanuki, but if you go to Japan, you're guaranteed to see hundreds of them. So we've already learned about their animals, but what about the fruits? A mau is a strawberry variety produced only in Fukuoka Prefecture. Mizuho, you can enjoy its juicy flesh and refreshing sweetness. Sato Nishiki is a cherry variety that has the largest production in Japan. Musk melon is famous for its aromas like musk, the melty texture of its flesh, and finely netted skin. Unshiu mikan is a mandarin that originated in Japan, and this typical citrus is grown in Japan's temperate regions. And last but not least is the house of Mount Fuji, which is the highest mountain in Japan. It raises over 12,000 feet, or nearly 4,000 meters, near the Pacific coast of central Honshu. But we'll tell you more about that in the next story. Remember, if you travel to Japan, don't forget to check the weather when planning your trip. If you want to know more about Japan, don't forget to download your information pack down below in the description. It has lots of new information, photos, and activities that you can do. Okay, see you next time. Bye!